Good morning guys. It's been a long ass while since I've done a wearing my wardrobe episode. I just I fell out of love with it. My wardrobe kind of just got like full of crap. Everything got put in the wrong place and it's just stressed me out and to be honest I just didn't feel like filming one so back to carry it on. I feel like now it's locked down again. It gives me something to do so can't remember for the life of me where we got but I think we were in blue section so i'm gonna say it's probably jeans or something today i'm gonna style up a look um, and get ready for the day right so i've caught up and we're in the blue section still i've just literally come to jeans um they're shorts and i'm not going to be wearing those so i've got a pair of jeans these are relatively new they're just primark high-waisted skinnies um i've got these in black and i wear them to death so I bought them in blue a couple of months ago. Yeah, they're well worn in and I did distress the bottoms because like a twat, I bought uh, 34 inch legs and I'm not 34 inch leg. Um, I'm more like a 30. So I cut a load off, distressed the bottoms and eventually I'm probably gonna put a rip in the knee because I just feel like I don't suit a smart pair of jeans because I'm not the smartest looking of people. <laughs> I feel like if I put a pair of jeans on that isn't distressed it just looks weird so yeah probably gonna put a hole in the knee um i'm just thinking something quite simple probably a white t-shirt um some little slip on shoes we'll see i'm gonna go and whack this on and show you what i come up with okay so i've gone quite simple um i've got a white t-shirt on the blue jeans and i've kind of just stacked up my jewelry put a red lip on i'm gonna go through what i'm wearing and how i've styled the blue jeans i'll mention the jewelry while we're close up i'm actually working with anna louisa again on this video you guys know that i absolutely love the brand um, i've worked with them a couple of times in previous videos they kindly gifted me some new jewelry pieces to share with you guys and I thought I'd talk you through what I chose this time. These earrings are from a previous collaboration we did. So this time they sent out these gorgeous necklaces. And this has got like a sun design on. And then these two, they're like on separate chains, but they're meant to be worn together. So this one's a little bit shorter. And then this one's a little bit longer. But I absolutely adore that. I think it's so pretty. If you don't know anything about Ana Luisa, then they're a sustainable um, gold jewellery brand. They do do some silver pieces as well, but it's all made from recycled gold. As you guys know, I love shopping sustainably where I can. Occasionally, I do shop high street or I do shop online, and I think that's fine. But um, I think as long as you're including some sustainability in your shopping um, and mixing it up then that's completely fine to do it's hard to come by a sustainable jewelry brand love their ethics i think all their pieces are so simple and really really easy to style if you're into simple pieces you will love their website i will link it in the description box they're really affordable as well they i think they range from like 39 dollars upwards so there's something for everyone they do do uh, finer pieces as well if you're looking for something super special for somebody or you want to treat yourself they do do fine jewellery as well. But I'm a simple jewellery girl and I love gold. So these are the pieces I picked. I also picked this ring. It's got like a, almost like a rope detail effect. I've seen loads of these kind of styles about and when they released one, I was like, oh my God, I need that in my life. It's so, so nice. And Eloisa rings stack really well as well, which I love. I've got, as you all know, a fair collection now and they go on top of each other really, really nicely. They did send another necklace as well, which I will show you. I haven't got it on today just because it'll be too much altogether, but I love this. A dog tag. It's got a thin chain and then the other's got like a little bit of a thicker link chain on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I haven't worn this one yet and the packaging's really cute. Like all the chain tucks into this little envelope on the back. Because I've got such a minimal outfit on, I feel like a few minimal pieces of jewellery can really uplift it, even though they're minimal themselves. Just a few bits of gold on can look really, really cool. So if you're after some sustainable jewellery, then please check out Ana Luisa. I absolutely love them as a brand. You guys know I wouldn't feature anything that I didn't believe in. If you're like me and you love minimal jewellery, or you want to delve into the world of sustainability in jewellery, then I highly, highly recommend checking out Ana Luisa's website. I will leave a link to them in the description box, along with all the links for these pieces of jewellery. I'm a massive fan, I love them so much. They've got a Black Friday sale as well, Anna Louisa, so make sure you check the description box to see the dates and when it's running, and it's a perfect time to pick up um, some jewellery if you're after it for yourself or for Christmas. 
I know I will be shopping on there come Black Friday because there's a few pieces that I've seen that I would love to get my hands on. I will leave all that info in the description box. Like I said, I'm not doing a fat lot today. Housework, just around the house. I've got a nip up to the supermarket, so I thought I'd better put a little bit of effort in. These are the blue jeans. These are the Primark high-waisted skinny jeans. So I just paired it with a t-shirt. This is just like a golden, you know, like the cheap ones you get off eBay that haven't got any sort of branding. This is one of those, but I just love how it fits. It's really, really nice. It's the perfect amount of oversizedness. And then I've also got these new shoes on from a brand called Vivea. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm gonna write it across the screen, but again, it's another sustainable company. So this is the brand. I think it's Vivea. They're so, so comfortable. It's literally like wearing a slipper. So nice. They're made of recycled plastic bottles. Now you'd think, that's really hard on your feet but honestly they're so spongy so soft it's got so much give in it they're really really cool i wouldn't necessarily pick out a pointed like pump for my style but i really really like these and i think the story behind them is awesome i'll put a bit more information in the description box and a link to their website i'm yet to wear them out the house they do them in loads of different colors as well which if you don't like the nude then there's plenty of choice i really like the black ones as well but i couldn't choose so yeah, I went with the nude and I think they can't, it's almost like you've got no shoes on. They kind of elongate your legs. They've got so much give in them. I really like them. I got them true to size and they fit an absolute dream. As you guys know, shopping sustainably isn't always the cheapest, but the price point on these are really, really good and you get what you pay for as well as the Anna Luisa jewellery. If you guys would like me to do a video on sustainable brands, then do let me know because I've got a few firm favourites now and I feel like I could put a video together. If you are struggling to find sustainable shops yourself, white shirt, blue jeans, Nude pumps, load of jewellery, red lip, and then I'm just going to throw my coat on. Bear with me. That's my outfit. I've just chucked on my ca long camel coat to keep me warm. Like I said, I'm only popping up the supermarket, so I don't need anything too warm on. And then my new bag. And that is my look for today. I might whack some sunnies on as well because it's quite bright out. So I've just gone with my black Ray-Bans just to tie it in with the bag. My coat, I forgot to say, is new look ages ago. And I love the structure and the lapels on it. I think it looks so much more expensive than it actually was. I think it was about £40. But yeah, I'm sure they've got something similar on there now. But yeah, that is my outfit of the day. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Let me know if you want me to carry on with my Wearing My Wardrobe series. I love filming it and I love putting looks together. So, uh, yeah, I think I will restart it again. But let me know if you're enjoying them. Um, I will put all the links and discount codes that I've got for any parts of this outfit in the description box. Again, make sure you check out Anna Louisa. If you're a jewellery lover, you will absolutely fall in love with the brand, as I have. Massive thank you to Anna Louisa again for working with me on this video. It means the absolute world, and I'm just thrilled to be able to feature some pieces that I know I will be wearing for a lifetime. So, yeah. I hope you all have a good day. I hope you're all keeping safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.